The meat of the future will likely be lab-grown. Compared to our conventional methods of getting meat on the table, lab-grown meat, which debuted in 2013, doesn't involve slaughtering of animals, nor does it require as many environmental resources. Compared to other livestock, raising cows require 28 times more land and 11 times more water. The World Wildlife Fund adds that beef production drives 25% of global land use and forestry emissions. And in the near future, lab-grown meat is going to be cheaper, faster, and more environmentally friendly to produce for our growing population. But how exactly does one grow meat in a lab? The process isn't as weird as you might think. Currently, the most successful method involves harvesting stem cells from cows. Stem cells are the building blocks of essentially everything, from muscles to organs, from which muscle tissue is harvested from the live animal in what is said to be a harmless, painless procedure. The tissue is made up of muscle and fat cells, which the scientists separate from one another. What we need are the muscles, which are then dissected and cultured. Cell culturing is where a cell is removed from a plant or animal and then put into a favorable artificial environment, usually some type of substrate that supplies essential nutrients like amino acids and carbohydrates to grow. All it takes is just one singular muscle stem cell to grow up to one trillion muscle cells. The newly grown muscle cells naturally merge together to form tiny myotubes, which are then placed in a ring. The muscle cells' tendency to contract frequently causes them to grow into a small strand of muscle tissue. The muscle tissue tubes are then layered together to form a hamburger shape. One muscle cell has the potential to turn into one trillion muscle tissue strands, which is a lot of burgers. The lab-grown hamburgers don't quite look like normal hamburgers and are much paler in color and blander in taste. But as scientists point out, that blander taste is a fair trade for an efficient way to create protein and feed the world's growing population. The price of lab-grown hamburgers has already dropped from $325,000 to just over $11 per patty. While it is still pricey compared to a Big Mac, which costs $4.79 on average, the price will likely drop in the future as production methods are streamlined, meaning that more likely than not, lab-grown meat will be on your dinner plate in the near future.